G'day Ziggy D here and welcome back for some more Borderlands the pre-sequel. In this video I'm going to be taking you guys through my very first run through the Bloody Harvest Celebration event. It took me a few days to get onto this, but uh, I'm eager to bit give it a bit of a go, try out some of the uh, sort of new additions and uh, hopefully get myself the new weapon that comes from the boss in here as well. So this is uh, kind of just like a little, you know, Halloween celebratory event. You don't need to do anything special to get this as long as you are connected online with your Borderlands pre-sequel game, then uh, a hotfix will be applied that applies this. But essentially, we should expect to see some Halloween thing things. Now, we're in Regolith Range, which you can uh, find just off of Serenity's Waste. You, this is the area where you come to to fight uh, Deadlift, and we will be doing that because apparently Deadlift or Undeadlift drops uh, something a little bit special. So I have no idea what to expect really, guys, apart from that. So uh, let's just kind of run through it and see. I'm expecting spooky scary things. <laughs> spooky scary skeletons and uh, all sorts of Halloween themed things. So it looks like we have some pumpkin scabs. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yep, that's pretty much what I expected. Something a little bit like that. Alright, well, just like any normal scab, we will be shooting them. We will be shooting them. Now I have to check out the barrels as well, and apparently there's like some pumpkins that we can blow up and things. I don't know, let's, let's see what we can find. So I'm using the 88 Fragnum here, this is just a purple fire laser that does pretty well against fleshy targets like this. Although we are outdoors, so not as good as it would be indoors. Let's try out, actually I got a new shotgun recent, you guys saw in the last farming session we did on YouTube. The uh, Social Viral Marketer is this one just here, which uh, seems pretty rad. Is that, is that a stack of pumpkins? It is... It is a pumpkin barrel, it's a bloody harvest barrel. Alright, that's pretty cool. <laughs> So I really like that they actually do stuff like this. Usually you see events and things of this nature from MMOs or things that have a much larger online presence, but this is kind of, to me, it seems like a... Borderlands is kind of like a standalone game, and yet it still has this uh, pretty fleshed out sort of ad added uh, celebration sort of content, event content, which is uh, pretty cool to see. Now I've heard like some items and stuff look different, so I'm going to check these chests and see, see what we can find. I'm imagining like the normal weapons and stuff are all pretty standard, yeah. Looks like ammo looks pretty normal as well, but uh, we'll see if we can find anything interesting in any of these barrels. Alright, nothing interesting in here. Let's head up. I do like the uh, the pumpkin scabs though, those guys are pretty entertaining. <laughs> alright, alright, what's, what's in here? Oh, candy! Yay! <laughs> Whoa, what the? <laughs> what? I... The, okay. Items always try and go for the nearest lava. It just so happened the nearest lava was like a kilometer away. And yet it still threw it all the way over there. It actually stopped before dropping in the lava. This will give us a chance to actually see the candy additions. Come on, can I, can I see it? It's candy. Yay, truck or treat. <laughs> okay, so they replaced the cash with candy. And the, and the, uh, the scabs are pumpkin heads. Let's kill a few more scabs and then we'll head on into our underlift. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Perfect. Flaming pumpkin barrels. I like it. <laughs> Absolutely unleashing with the social bar market. This thing's actually pretty good for a corrosive shotgun against fleshy targets. I'm doing, doing pretty well with it. Uh, let's let's. We've also got our uh, our striker as well, which I when I, I realized I was told when I was doing the video for the striker that I kept calling the flacker. So have I got that the right way around this time? I think I've got it the right way around. There we go. Let's blow up the pumpkin head right there. Okay. So I think uh, I think it's time for us to head over to Deadlift and see what's going on down in here, and see if we can get ourselves a new weapon. Zoom. Okay, so I've, done, so I've done plenty of deadlift runs in the past, but I've, I've never done an undeadlift run, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I think it would probably be pretty helpful for me to get out Miss Moxie so I can destroy some shields, and uh, I think the rest of this will be fine though. Yeah, that that'll, that'll looks fine. Alright, let's grab some ammo before we go in. Deadlift can be a little bit nasty at level 50, the, uh, especially if you're very heavily shield based like uh, my Nisha character is. Very, very reliant on shields, and he's electrical. If you if you don't manage to shoot the electrical bubbles before they hit you, they can do uh, tons of damage and just absolutely destroy your shields. Those vault hunters die today, or my name isn't Bucephalus Deadlift Macaroni. Okay, so they didn't get the voice actor in to change the voice acting lines. That's I suppose that's not too surprising. But as you can see up the top there, his name is Undeadlift. 
So it'd be interesting to see what sort of changes we get from the flight here. Alright, I'm going to take the usual strategy of going straight up the top here. If you guys haven't done much deadlift farming, then uh, the, the best strategy is generally to get to the high ground as quickly as possible and to shoot those things. Those are electrical baubles and you can uh, you can shoot those to stop them from hitting you and that's absolutely essential for this fight. Those those things there may convert into it. It seems that I think they're too far away. Should be fine. Alright, so he does indeed have a massive pumpkin head. Alright, this one's coming for me so I want to shoot that. These pistols are not the best for this but it's still going to work I think. If you do have showdown on Nisha, you can... Um, you can shoot them with showdown, we'll auto-target them as well. But otherwise, the best thing to do is just use like fast firing weapons and auto-target them down. Now if you have a sniper rifle or an electrical sniper rifle, which is what you start off the game with from one of the quests down there, you can uh, try and target his backpack and that's how you get the crits. So these are not the best weapons for sniping with. <laughs> I've got super close range weapons on all counts here. Hey bro! <laughs> nah, that was not exactly successful. Alright, uh, a little bit... Oh, I did manage to tag him just there. Can I hit him from here? I can actually hit him from here. So he just destroyed my shields right there. Thankfully my 3 DDE shield... Oh yes! Those crits! Alright, that was... Wow! Lasers and niche to showdown. Just... i constantly surprised by how OP they are. You'd think I would be used to it by now. Oh! My, sh my uh, shield did zap out... Zap this guy just there. But I uh, still got down. We can, we can do it! We can do it! Looks like my laser's bugging out. That was a little weird. Okay. Alright, that was good. We've almost got him. Where, where, where is he hiding? Where is Undead Lift hiding? So I wonder what the drop chance is on this thing, whether it's guaranteed or not. Alright, looks like we got him. Let's go uh, take out this, this ad over here and then we'll go check down the drops. Alright bro, come on. W what are you doing, man? What are you doing? What's, what is this? Alright, let's head down here. And that should sort him out. Okay, I've got some Moonstone. Moonstone hasn't changed, it seems. It's just a normal shield there. Some more Moonstone. Ah, uh, nothing there, nothing there. Did he... So it looks like we might have to farm him a few times. Wait, 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 wait. Is this it? No, no, this is his normal laser weapon. That's not it. Alright, we might need to farm it a few times then, unless he... He didn't throw it away somewhere, did he? Oh, oh, I see something down here. It's Moonstone. Now, I did see some items, like, fly upwards, so I better check up there as well. I think they went up there. Just in case he, like, kind of, like, glitched and threw his items super far. Uh, I can't see anything. Some random items there from another scab that dropped them. And nothing really important. Alrighty guys, we'll do a few deadlift farming runs then. And uh, see if we can get his unique uh, Halloween themed weapon. So we'll try and speed farm this guy. I haven't done too many actual farming runs of deadlift. So, I, in fact I can't even think off the top of my head what, what legendary it is that he usually drops. I know he does drop his unique uh, laser weapon there. Which is not particularly good. Not really worth farming in my mind. Um, Moxie's Vibra Pulse is like better in pretty much every way. Um, but uh, this will be interesting since we are trying to farm something else here. I wonder if we can just burst him down with Moxies. That might well be the case. Moxie, like, when I actually got that showdown on him, it really, really wrecked him. Okay, we need to kill those things though. <laughs> Alright, we'll just, we'll just take a little bit defensively for a second. Alright, where did he go though? Oh shit! We got hit. We got hit. So that took out like 10k of my shields from one of them, so two is like insta-rip on my shields. Alright, alright, where is he? Where is he? I'm like targeting everything but him. There he is, there he is. That auto-targeting fail. Alright, well, we're wearing him down pretty well. Oh, the shield heal! Man, that thing is OP, that legendary is so good. I got, if you guys missed that, I got that in the last farming episode of Red and Belly from a, uh, from a vendor. And it has a chance to fully heal your shields. As well as sometimes it zaps enemies and does other neat things. So it's, uh, pretty, it's pretty strong. It's a pretty strong Oz kit. That it, like, can fully heal your shields. This nature, that's, like, insane. Oh, there we go. Alright. Oh, oh, oh! This looks... There we go! We got it! Second run! So, it seems like the drop rate's probably quite high on it. Let's check this thing out. Alright. Hold on, guys. You guys just quit shooting me for a moment. We're gonna, we're gonna check this thing out here. Another shotgun! So, I haven't seen this thing in action yet, so... I did know it was a, a Halloween-themed shotgun, but I had no idea what it actually does. So, that's a pretty cool-looking unit. It's got the, uh, kind of fanged face on the side here, and it's, of course, orange and black Halloween-themed Halloween device right here. 
Um, okay, nothing really else I can notice about the model, besides it is pretty damn rad looking. We have the Juicy Jacko Cannon! I'm guessing Juicy is um, probably a prefix made for this particular item. <laughs> it's got uh, it's got pretty decent damage, low fire rate, very low fire rate, so I must do something pretty interesting there. Magazine size is 10, so that's, that's decent. Your body lies beaten, battered, and broken. Now, I'm not sure if that's a reference to something. Maybe if any of you guys watching know, the re know if that's a reference to something, you can uh, post it in the comments below. It's got 50% critical hit damage, 2 ammo per shot, and it's a Torg weapon, so it does deal explosive bonus damage here. So, uh, I guess the only thing to do is to actually give it a shot and see how it goes. Thankfully, we do have some guns. Just kind of... W there's his other weapon there. He actually dropped both of them. So, let's see exactly... Oh, my God! <laughs> okay. It fires giant flaming pumpkins. <laughs> Can we actually even crit with it? Even though it's got the crit bonus damage? I'm like, I don't think we can. Okay, you don't want to stand too close with this thing. <laughs> well, that's pretty hilarious. Let's see. <laughs> it's literally like you're catapulting a giant flaming pumpkin because it's got like a fair amount of bullet drop on it. It's actually pretty hard to like hit people directly with it. All right, that's pretty hilarious. I don't think it's particular. It's a particularly good weapon, guys. I don't think it's particularly powerful, but it is. It is unique. Like I think uh, unique's a good way of describing this particular weapon, and uh, it is something that you can only get during this event. So if you guys haven't had a chance to jump on and try the bloody harvest, you may want to jump on and just quickly farm up one of these. You know, just for collections purposes. But uh, I do love the, the flaming pumpkins though, that is amazing. It's the sort of weapon that you can just pull out later in a party match, like for people that haven't seen it before, and just start firing pumpkins around randomly, trolling your party members, because uh, that would be a little bit confusing to see. Now I've heard there's some other shenanigans going on in here, something about firing people off into space or riding pumpkins or something. I don't know, I'm going to explore around and see if I can find what exactly that's talking about. Here we go, let's, we've got the post here, I can actually draw the post over for you guys. Here's the post. But that's not all. While you're in regular range, blast pumpkins with scav attached out of orbit. Blow up some pump bloody harvest barrels. We did that. Collect some candy cash. Did that. So, uh, I'm not sure what it means by blast pumpkins with scavs attached out of orbit. Let's see. Maybe I'll explore. Maybe we've got this whole other section of the map just here. So, maybe there's something hiding around in this section of regular range. So, I'll do some exploring. Oh! Is that thing... Is that thing firing pumpkins at me, or is it just the normal? Ah, uh, these things look normal. <laughs> Alright, I can fire some flaming pumpkins back at them, though. It's actually, this shotgun's actually got pretty good AoE, so... I guess as a single target thing, it's pretty useless, but... If there's, like, a group of enemies, the AoE and damage on it is pretty decent, like, when you're multiplying that by hitting many targets. So that's actually, yeah, that's actually a bit more impressive than I thought, because usually, um, usually Torque weapons only have a very small blast radius on the AoE, like, but this is pretty, like, this is a bit closer to, like, a rocket launcher, so the AoE kind of, I guess, makes up for the lack of, uh, you know, raw power on it. wonder if it can grenade jump with this thing. Did that shoot me higher? I think it did. Alright, let's, let's try sprinting and then jumping and then... Oh, it doesn't seem to give you much height. Might be able to slightly gain just- OH NO! <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, I wouldn't use this thing to grenade jump with though, it's not very reliable. Or rocket jump with. I guess it would be called a pumpkin jump, but uh, I wouldn't pumpkin jump guys, doesn't seem very reliable. I like how we fell to our death, but we managed to get close enough, like we landed just there, to trigger the uh, the respawn station just here. So I actually respawned on the side I was trying to jump to. Look at the little scab with the pumpkin head. <laughs> Alright, so soaring through the air, firing pumpkins at things is actually kind of satisfying. <laughs> okay, so that was a bit of entertainment. I had a bit of fun blowing things up with pumpkins. Pump Pumpkin-headed creatures blown up with pumpkin-shooting shotguns. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what else can I say? Uh, it's pretty cool, as I said, that they uh, can add things like this into the game. It, I mean, 
it's nice to just be able to jump on and, you know, have a bit of fun. Try check, check out sort of, you know, the cute little additions. And uh, I guess if you wanted something Halloween themed to do video gaming wise and uh, I came for a little bit more Borderlands action, then that's something you can jump on and do. And uh, I think if you ever wanted to farm some deadlift, now is probably a pretty good time to do it because you can also pick up the uh, pumpkin shotgun while you're at it. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, just short look at the uh, Halloween Bloody Harvest celebration on Borderlands pre-sequel. I do hope they do more of these in the future, and I hope they do some more, like, uh, fully fleshed out uh, events in the future as well. It would be nice to see. I know they did some with Borderlands uh, 2, like the uh, loot, loot Hunt Challenge and things like that, so I'd like to see some stuff like that in the game as well. So anyway, guys, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.